Yeah, we know it's going to be a slightly different surface to play on. Um, expecting it to be a little bit more better friendly, uh, which usually it is. Maybe not as high scoring as well, and high uh, run rates, sorry. Um, but listen, we, we've come here and the guys are pretty fresh because we've had a few days off. Um, so expecting a, a really good, really good game, and hopefully we can start off by setting the tone like how we set the tone in the first game. For them, Kima Roach and uh, Asad Fadadin, and for us now, Robbie and, and Kuni is out. So you know, these are kind of things that come your way. Uh, and fortunately, we've got some depth in our team. So so hopefully, the guys that come into the team um, have a good series and uh, suddenly put their names into the hat to to be regulars. Absolutely. As I said, in Centurion, it almost, you kind of know that it's not going to turn as much and the seamers come into play. But here, traditionally, the ball seems to turn and the spinner does have a bit of a role, more of a role to play. Um, so I'm pretty sure we'll be looking to play a spinner. Um, yeah. Well, Temba's been in the squad. Um, so it's kind of fitting that he should play if there's uh, anybody to play. Uh, so if he does play, then it'll be pretty exciting because you know the last game we had Stian in the debut, and it would be great if Temba could get a hundred on debut as well. <laughs> so it was no pressure. Uh, so you know, you know this this team is. I mean, knew from you know from the time I took over, I knew this team is going to go through a phase of transition, and this, as you can see, is is pretty much a new look team in many ways, a lot of new faces. Uh, exciting times, but also you know challenging times in in getting the winning team. So Temba playing, if he does play, you know certainly something we're all looking for. Yeah, listen, it's uh, the, for me the exciting thing is that guys are getting more opportunities, uh, fresh faces in the team, and with fresh faces come a lot of energy, uh, a lot of desire on their part to to be international cricketers. So that's exciting. The challenging times is is when you do have younger guys, you can't expect them to be performing like how the guys who have gone performed, immediately anyway. So those are probably the challenging times. Fortunately, the bowling attack has pretty much remained the same for the last three years. Uh, so they've a solid unit. And in terms of the batting, we need to find a rhythm. And, and the guys who have been in the team, like myself, Faf, uh, AB, and hopefully JP when he comes back, will you know try and continue the ways we, we go about giving time to the other guys to, excuse me, giving, giving them time to settle in and hopefully find their feet at international level. Yeah, I think it goes without saying. Uh, you know, ever since those two guys retired, uh, you know, Jakes and, and Smithy, it goes without saying that the rest of the team, or the guys who have been in the team, will, will shoulder the, uh, the bulk of that responsibility. Well, I think the environment's always been good, uh, but no environment is ever perfect, and it can always get better. Uh, I certainly think it has gone better, uh, has gotten better. So, and this is hope we can continue with that. Yeah, Russell's been excellent. Uh, I think the team environment certainly had an upward curve since um, I'd say 2009, 2010, around there. Uh, each coach that has come in has added great value in, in getting the environment and the culture and everything else. In a, in, a, in a good uh, in a good space and that's why the curve is going up and we can only try and get better Russell's been very uh, v brilliant like that um, and also credit goes to a lot of the senior guys who you know the team is basically uh, revolves around the senior guys so I think for them to take more credit would be probably justified there as well I don't initially it doesn't go come into into play I mean we have to s when we arrive on uh, tomorrow uh, <laughs> <laughs> The, to see what the, the weather is like, so and we can make a call there. I mean, obviously, if it's cloudy, it probably may assist the bowlers a bit more, and, and uh, you may have to make a decision to bat or bowl. But after that, it's very difficult to tell. I mean, obviously, the forecast change changes very often, so it's not too much of a factor. Yeah, number four seems to have seems to have gone well. Um, you know, I'm really happy that. I mean, the batting lineup would uh, would fuff myself and and. AB at five, and then obviously when JP is around him at six, forms a pretty solid middle order, uh, top order to middle order. So I'm, pr I'm pretty happy there at the moment. Um, yeah, so we're going and, and Faf is, is, is settling in at three. Uh, you know, in one day is ending the test. He's, he's been very solid for us. So yeah, it's, not, it's probably not a thing that's already cast in stone. We're going to let it go and you know see how, how the team progresses. I think with the youngsters coming into the team, it also helps that we've lengthened the batting like that.